Hey, welcome one and all to another episode of Sizzle or Fizzle. I'm Rick. And I'm K-A-S. Now, most of you already know this is the show where we listen to different artists, different genres. We love all types of music, and we hope you do too. At the end of the day, when we listen to a track, we determine whether we think it sizzles or fizzles. And Ooh, we say how we feel about it. We invite you to leave comments and let us know how you feel as well. Comments. Comments. Cass, today, huh? yeah, we're going to Kansas. Well, technically, I already live in Kansas. We're going to be listening to Kansas. Oh, I thought you were going to bring me back to Kansas. I've been there already. <laughs> now, um, the name of this track is Dust in the Wind. And... Yeah. I'm pretty sure, just like me, you've heard this before. Oh, we are dust in the wind. Yep, you heard this before. <laughs> so, this is not a reaction. This is more or less a review. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna listen to it with objective um, ears <laughs> instead of just uh, as we would passing by on the radio or whatever. So, without further delay, let's go ahead and get into it. One of these days I'll be able to finger like that. Yep. halfway through the song We're already halfway right? through it <laughs> like real quick yeah it's gonna have to be real quick but you only got a minute left <laughs> that's true um <clears throat> love the harmonizing um oh man the, the lead vocal i mean that tenor that tenor is just killer smooth and, and, and smooth yeah. and, nice and, and you know like i was saying about the guitar i mean it's 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 subtle sometimes subtle things um can mean a lot and and i don't i don't think if if he was like nah, 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 you know it would work this has to be a ballad this you know when you put the lyrics with the singing and the music it works i think this is one of those they call what they mean when they say less is more right that good 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 one that's the way I would put it. Yeah. I mean, four for a time, two acoustic guitars, violin. Come on. Lee vocals, uh, two or three vocals total, including Lee for harmony. Good grief, man. Less is more. That's all I have to say about it. Outside of that, nothing. All right. We're going to get back to it then. Kansas with Dust in the Wind.
Mm. That was deep right there. A tiny bit of percussion at the end. Yeah. They call those hand drums. Your thoughts, sir? Hey, you know, like I said before, the less is more between two acoustics, uh, hand drums, and actually, uh, the guy, I think his name, I think it's Robbie, uh, you, there's a violin and a viola uh, played here, but I guess since he plays both, they couldn't show him playing both. Of course, right. but if you listen to it, you can hear them both playing. No, no, you hear him go. Oh, I thought you were saying he's playing two instruments. He is, but yeah, on the I'm talking about on the album, isn't it? Yeah, would that be an overdub? Where he plays one and then he plays the other on the same track? No, because it's two different instruments. It's not overdubbing is being able to use the same thing. Okay. He's not using he's using two different instruments. He's using a violin and a viola. So it's two separate things. So but but you of course had to put them on top of each other. So yeah. yeah, but that would be like track one and track two, and then maybe at the end of mix down, you might bounce them down. So one and Whichever tracks they're on, they're on the same track, same tracks, but okay. otherwise okay. it's on a separate track. So the drums are on one track, but there were drums, the bongos, which they call hand drums, would be on a separate track. His okay, lead so, vocals, so he's playing them on separate tracks and then they just mixed it together for the final yeah, mix. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you can't, he can't play them both. So he would go in the studio and he would probably do the violin first, the one that you see him playing on the video. And then they go back and play it again. And in the beginning, they probably uh, did the acoustics first and may have had them in two separate booths doing them at the same time and the vocals. So everything could be separately if they wanted to do it that way. They okay. might have even done the harmonies together or separate. I know we used to do them. We used to do them separately. So That, that makes yeah. sense. But um, I... I uh, they make playing guitar look simple. Even when I you look know. at the when you look at the fingers on the on the on the strings, and I, and I'm thinking technically they're hitting these multiple strings, and you can't just think of the 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 right hand. You had to think the fact that they actually have to hit the right notes on the neck at the same yep. time, and do the vocals at the same time, and be on tune with the vocals at the same time, and on tempo. And kids, mm. let me tell you, that's where I have a lot of trouble. I'd I just, like to blame uh, it on my old manness because I'm learning late in life, which it is true. The younger you start, the pick, the quicker you pick it up. But at the same time, it's just there's no excuse. I just need to buckle down and you know really get back to it. Well, I have to give it a, a, uh, an F O N K E. It's got to be F O N K E E funky. It's a mellow funky mellow. Uh, because it, it it just is. It, it, it's just a badass tune. Um, I will say that the reason that if I had something to say that I don't like about it, it took this long for me or for you to introduce this song back to me for me to listen to it again and relive it again. So that's what I don't like. What I do like about it, everything. Yeah, that's I would it. I would agree with that. I mean, so I I will drop a big sizzle. It's a sizzle for me as well. And, and just to clarify, because I know a lot of people watch episodes we have, and we always ask for rockers because we like to move and groove to stuff. Yeah, this is not anything that would go on any playlist that I have, but that's not a bad thing because most of my playlists would be something I would run to, work out to. Or a party mix. Oh, I this will go on a sit. And, on this a, will go on a sit and sip 
playlist for me. I was going to say, I can see this on a long run playlist where I play mellower stuff because I have to slow it down because I'm uh, putting out lots of miles. If it's, if it's seven to 10 miles. Okay. Gotcha. If I'm sprinting, it's not going on that list, (laughs) but, but, uh, yeah, this is a nice little groove. This is definitely a sizzle. Yeah. And I like also about it because I have good memories when this song came out, good memories for me. So that's also a good thing. All right. You know how I feel. You know how Cass feels. Leave a comment. Let us know how you feel. I want to hear from all you guys. What else can we get on from Kansas? Huh? Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Drop me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Make sure you leave us a message. We really like to hear from you guys. Stay positive. Stay blessed. And no matter what's going on in your life, people keep it moving in the way. Later. Later. If you like this video, watch another one right here. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Just click right here. I got lots of cool content, movies, music, and television. Explore everything. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think.